Hello guys and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks that you can try in order to get more FPS when you're playing CSGO on a laptop. In this video, I'm going to show you a few settings that you can apply to the game and in-game and those settings will surely help you get a boost of FPS. First of all, I'm going to show you how to add some launch options to the game. Just go to Library and CSGO. And here you're going to have to right click on the game and then click on Properties. And then you have here on the General tab Set Launch Options. And here on Set Launch Options, I'm going to recommend you paste those commands here. You're going to have them in the description down below so you can get them from there. If you want to know what everything does, you can search it up on Google. It's really simple, but it has to do with the startup of the game and will automatically try to give the game a higher priority on the processor every setting it's useful i've tried them and i can assure you that they give you an fps boost so in a game and csgo i'm going to recommend you to do these settings just go here on the left side on the settings menu and then on video settings i'm going to recommend you to lower down your resolution if you have a laptop i don't recommend you to play on the laptop's resolution here on aspect ratio just go and put it on normal 4x3 and then on the resolution, you can select here a resolution that you want. Of course, the game will look a bit different if you're used to 16 by 9, but this will get you a very good boost of FPS. On advanced video, I'm going to recommend you to turn these settings all off. Only the global shadow quality can leave it on high if you want. If you want to play the game properly, you need those shadows. But the other settings should be as mine, the modal texture detail on low, the effect detail on low, the shader detail on low, the multi-core rendering enabled, that's very important, and the multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode, you can leave it on auto. And another thing that you have to look for is the motion blur, just make sure that it is disabled because that eats a lot of your FPS if you have it enabled. Next up, I'm going to show you some settings that you can do from the console, but if you don't have the console enabled or you don't know what the console is, just go here on settings menu again and then go into the game settings tab. And here on game, you're going to have enable developer console and make sure that it is on yes that means it is enabled to enter in the console we're just gonna have to press the button that it is above tab and this is how the console looks here in the console I'm gonna recommend you to type in FPS underscore max 200 and then press enter this setting will help you a lot because as I've said in other FPS boost videos or tutorials on this channel limiting your FPS should help you a lot of course if you have a good pc you don't need to make these settings but if you have a lower end pc and your pc doesn't run the game as it should just put here a limit of 200 or maybe less if you have a very bad pc and of course if you've added some commands in the console make sure that you're not playing with the net graph enabled net graph is a setting as you can see that will show us the fps and a lot of other details about the game this command eats up a lot of fps so i'm going to recommend you to disable it maybe you can enable it only some time to see the fps but i don't recommend you to play with it enabled as you can see here i have a lot of other commands that you can use on the csgo console you can enter those one by one but i have to warn you that these commands will change the game very much as i said try them one by one and see if you're liking them or not then you can disable them and stuff like that. Use them because I can assure you that they will give you a very good boost of FPS. These commands will be in the description down below as well as the other commands that I showed you in this video. So I'm hoping that after trying all these settings you can play CSGO with a higher number of FPS and your game is now running properly and you can play it without any problems. So this was the video guys, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your Windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video. Until next time, have a nice day.